How many of your clients are your champion clients? These are the clients who will tell everybody and anybody that if they have a legal problem, they need to come to you. And they will be your champions no matter what you charge them and no matter what the results were. It's important to have champion clients because they will do all your marketing for you. And if you can fill your practice with champion clients, you really don't need to do any kind of marketing. Hi, welcome to Front Porch Lawyer, where we explore the humanity of lawyering. I'm Francine Tone, your host. Now, marketing companies who market to lawyers, the one of the first things they ask is, do you have enough clients? How are you getting more clients? And they will tell you that they have the solution, but none of them will talk to you about champion clients because, well, if you had all champion clients, you would put all those marketing companies pretty much out of business. Our firm has spent the last 30 to 40 years developing nothing but champion clients. We do zero marketing and it's because our clients do all our marketing for us. So how does this happen? Well, one of the key components to developing champion clients is understanding your client's perspective, their point of view. It's becoming really attuned to their emotional state and understanding what is truly important to them. Of course, money is important. Building businesses is important. Getting what you want and winning is important. But underneath all of that, there's something even more important. And that is, do you understand your client? Does your client believe that you understand them? Does your client feel that you get them? And when you can do that, those people will become your champion clients. So one of the things that I talk about, in fact, my whole book, What Every Good Lawyer Wants You To Know, is all the things that I've told my clients over the years to develop these champion clients. And one of the things that I've noticed over the years is how lawyers don't really understand the emotional place that their clients are in when they go to court. This is just one example. You go to court, you shake hands with opposing counsel because you're being civil, you're polite, and you're a professional. Meanwhile, your client is sitting back there worried that what you're doing is commiserating with the enemy. I know you're thinking, oh, I'm exaggerating. That's not what's really happening. But let me tell you, it really is happening because I've seen it happen. But if you tell your client ahead of time that on your way to court, by the way, I'm gonna be shaking hands with the attorney, I'm gonna be talking to them, I'm probably gonna ask them about their golf game. It's not because I'm not on, I'm on all the time to work your case. But so is the other attorney, they're on, but that doesn't mean we're not friendly because we have to get along with the people in the legal system. But just letting the client know ahead of this can change the client's attitude. But imagine they're surprised if they don't know and you start asking about opposing counsel's golf game or how their kids are, the client is starting to think you're not with them, that you're against them. So little things like this, understanding what the client's going to feel becomes so important. It's also little things like how you communicate with the client, which is why I spend so much time on the concept of communication and are you really communicating the client? Are you just giving information or are you making sure they understand you? I spend a lot of time on these topics because little tiny things make a huge difference. One of the things that I do as an appellate law specialist is I do criminal defense appeals. So a lot of my clients are sitting in prison. And let me tell you, there's not a whole lot I can do for these clients to get positive change in their cases. And yet, it's because of the way I communicate with those clients. It's what I say, how I say it, and my response time to their letters, and my understanding why they're upset about certain things, and addressing those things with them. That when my case is done with them, they let other people know who are in prison, you need to call Francine Tone, my lawyer, she's the best lawyer out there. Even though I've got no good results, I've had to share bad news. But it's because I understood my client, understood their concerns that allowed them to become my champion clients in prison. So keep that in mind. How much are you getting attuned to your client? This is what emotional intelligence is, is just knowing what their emotional state is and addressing it in a way that has them developing this ironclad trust in you. And that's how you develop 
champion clients. I'll be talking about this a lot more because I think this is so important in developing your, your practice, developing and growing your practice, and developing those champion clients for you. Thanks for joining me on my front porch. This is Francine Tone, and I'll see you next time.